Green. Campbell remains in, second down and goal. And the 13th play of this drive. And off, touchdown UNLV. And the Rebels right down the field. Pickup that time was by the big fullback. Now who? Who is their short yardage back? He was a tailback a year ago, converted to fullback this year with the introduction of all the young Texans in the lineup at tailback. And Nafahu just doing a great job following his blockers. And, and Coach Tim DeRuder feels as though he can spark this team, and that's what they're hoping he does tonight. The shotgun on first down. State wants to run it. They push the pile crossing the 20. And a pickup of five yards is Martez Waller with the carry. And, and they've struggled mightily. <laughs> third down of the contest for the Bulldogs. And there's a run by Anderson. And there he goes. Into UNLV territory. Finally shoved out of bounds inside the 40-yard line. Tory McTosh finally with the stop. But it was after a pickup of 35 yards. Well, offensive coordinator Dave Schramm, he dialed one up there. That's a great little zone read play. Pulls it out. And Kilton Anderson. He... Opportunity presents itself. Took advantage in that last sequence on second down. And he'll take advantage again. First down for Kilton Anderson. He did across the 30. Looks like they'll mark him inches short after the stop by Blake Richmond. Yeah, he gets own read. You just see he pulls, pulls the ball out and then gets up the field, north and south. That's a nice play by Kilton Anderson. You got to remember, he's a young man. He He's not played in the spread offense a whole lot. He was actually a veer quarterback for two of his three years of high school. Got a big third down coming up for Fresno State. <laughs> They try to misdirection. There goes Waller inside the 15. That's a first down. And an outstanding play call that time by Dave Schramm, brought down by Richmond. So it's a great little watch. Watch Martez Waller. He's going to delay, and then he's going to. Kilton Anderson's going to roll and then give him the ball. It, it's more or less a delayed draw right there, Roy, and it's a great concept, and it gets everyone in pursuit, and then Waller comes back against the grain. Just a There's possession of the ball game for Fresno State. And the quarterback keeper, Anderson, leads across the four. He finds the end zone for the touchdown. Boy, Kilton Anderson does a nice job there. Let's take a look. See if he might have been down. I think one of the backs went the wrong way, but then Kilton Anderson, he just played football right there. He lunges ahead. He's in the air. Ball crosses the plane. That's a touchdown. That's a heck of a play by the red shirt freshman sick of UNLV. That's right. Well done, my friend. Off of play action. Caught in the flats. And a loop ball for the first down. Out of bounds at the 40 yard line. Brilliant play for the Bulldogs. Meisenheimer. Doing a great job there. Malik Meisenheimer getting out of the backfield. A little waggle. And boy, boy, he makes a great play. Just hurdling the defender. But great timing that time by Kilton Anderson. Delivered. In the Sunshine Shakes. Most talkative player on this Bulldogs club. There's the slant. There's the first down as he spins his way ahead, crossing the 25. The tire finally makes the tackle, but after a gain of 17, Damari Scott with the catch in midseason. Off the zone read, the fake Anderson. Gain of nine and a half yards on first down. Brought down by Tim Huff. Well, take a look, even though it doesn't matter who's at quarterback, when you have quick feet at that position, it'll help you. And, and all four quarterbacks are good. Two of the four got. I have to wonder if this is four down territory. And off Waller with real estate. Towards the end zone, touchdown. From 17 yards out of the Bulldogs, back out in front. Extra point to come. 
Well, Roy, we're talking about Jameer Jordan being a great player, and you're going to see once the ball comes into Waller hands, Waller's hands, he's going to run, and look who gets the block downfield. It's Jameer Jordan clears the way for number 33, Martez Waller. That is great downfield blocking by the receivers. Second touchdown of the season. Extra point is up. It is good. Our new score with 6-11 remaining in the first half. Fresno State with a touchdown lead against UNLV. Lastly, Junior from Pasadena. Palladette with all kinds of time to the end zone. As a man breaking open, touchdown. And he brought it in for the score. Kendall Keys with the grab. Boy, you know, if, if the last throw was pretty good, this one's a great throw. Palandek rifles a deep corner. Kendall Keys out of Helix High in San Diego. Nice corner route, balls right on the mark. Kendall Keys with the block. Number 39, a big hole. And some real estate into the red zone and the Rebels in business. Lewis makes the stop and Keith Whiteley now after a 20 yard gain starting to find his rhythm. Yeah, just straight ahead pretty much. Little trap up front, not great tackling again. He gets out of the grasp of Jeff Camilli and Camilli doesn't miss a lot of tackles. First down and goal from the two. Xavier Campbell pushes the pile, no indication yet. And there it is, the touchdown for the Rebels. And UNLV back out in front. Rebels six out of nine on third down. And they need nine here. Valadek with time towards the end zone, looking for Boyd, and he's got the touchdown. That's what an all-conference wide receiver can do for you, Boyd, from 29 yards out. Well, on third and nine, that, that's... It, it, it's a heck of a throw, and Palandek puts his foot in the ground and then just throws a strike down the field. Devontae Boyd beating his man. Looks like uh, Tank Kelly. Yeah, going against going against Tank Kelly, and he just really ran by him. That's not the. That That's good enough for the first down. Drive continues, and the spin move. Gain of 14 yards. Damari Scott. Tries to make amends for that fumble just a few minutes ago. Well, I think that's what they need to do right now. Get Kilton Anderson. Give him a little time. He, he can put the ball on receivers. He's he's good and accurate. Now go tempo. Caught by Johnson. Dances his way for another first down. And into UNLV territory. So a spark finally for this Fresno State offense after a gain of 16. It's a nice catch. Did he go down early? That's the question. He put his arm down. Oh, nice job. Putting a hand down. Staying up. Quick snap. Anderson out of the flats to his tight end, Chad Olson. Makes a nice move. Keeps the play alive and a pickup of 13 yards. Here's part of the challenge, Roy, in that. They're not operating with a full deck of cards, right? D Dave Schramm, the offensive coordinator, I asked him how much offense, how much offense do you really have in for Kilton Anderson? And hey, throw the ball away sooner. 44 yard attempt on the way, and it is good. Cody Croning, again the long kicker from 44, and Fresno State on the scoreboard after Camacho's field goal. The Bulldogs run one more play. With time down the field, and it's caught. What oh, dangerous throw. Chad Olson makes his second reception of the ball game. And the Bulldogs in Rebels territory. Fresno State trying to end a five-game losing streak. It trails UNLV by 11. Fourth quarter begins, 28-17. to 17, Our score, the Rebels leading Fresno State. And the end around. Here comes Jordan once again with some daylight. And a pass to the end zone, shoved out of bounds, short of the 10-yard line. Jordan, but Jameer Jordan making a play for his team when they desperately need it. Boy, what a great time to call a reverse again. 
and, and, and what happens, Jordan, as he's run down the sideline, he steps out of bounds, and, and the side judge catches it. I believe they called him out at the 12. Gain of 25 yards for possession right now for the Bulldogs, trailing by 11. Zone read, Anderson, touchdown! They're calling for two on the sideline. They're calling for two because it is a two-score game right there. Kilton Anderson, what he, you know what he does right there so well? He he followed his blockers and he set up the blocks. And then he just put his foot in the ground, cut upside, cut up inside for the score. Go for two. Waller in the backfield. All right, you got Jordan there. Keep an eye on him. Play action. Back in the end zone, and it's picked off. Intercepted, Tim Huff with a convoy. Finally brought down to the 45. This was intended for Jameer Jordan, third down and two. Laid hand off. Gain of six yards, he'll have the first down. Smart makes a play call that time. Dave Schramm has really done a nice job. There's a look at Dave Schramm right there, who's very capable of becoming a head coach in this league. He's Kilton Anderson. You want to get you want to get all six here. Waller the handoff with real estate. Martez Waller off to the races. Touchdown. Martez Waller went over 100 yards. He is now fifth on the all-time list. He did that earlier tonight for Fresno State. It appears they're going to go for two as well, but boy, I like the call. Give it to Martez Waller, who has had a spectacular night tonight for the Bulldogs. So with a one-point advantage, Bulldogs will go for two. Waller over 100 yards after that last scoring scamper. And a big play coming up here, Tom. Try to make it a field goal ball game. Yeah, last time they went to Jameer Jordan. I, I, I thought that was a good, I thought it was a good move. To the tight end, Chad Olsen for two. And the Bulldogs extend their lead to three. First time. Lightly in the backfield. Power deck. Into Fresno State territory, and Kirk Palinjack turns on the Jets. Jordan does have distance from this point. It's brought down in the backfield to sack, and he'll lose three and a half more. It's a long kick. Eder Aine with the sack and a timeout will be called by Tony Sanchez. I, I think he said, Kurt, you, you don't want to take a sack there. In oh so many words. But right there, Paladek's just trying to keep the play alive. And really, no one's open. They shut it down. 